I'm going to talk about a new capability in Enroute 2023 related to nesting, uh, particularly nesting in the ATP and the way to, a way to prioritize the ordering of the parts when they get output um, to the, say, a number of sheets to make it hopefully more efficient for the manufacturing process. So I'm going to introduce it by, uh, by opening a file here. Uh, a real simple file. If if I select these these numbers and ask the nester to to nest them, let's say I'm going to nest five of them uh, of each of them, and I don't define any priority order, it'll go ahead and nest these parts, and you see that it it the order of the parts, the order of the nesting is is chosen by the nester and and so it's working to be as efficient as possible with the nest and so in this case the fives and the fours which are maybe a little bit bigger in area tend to nest first uh, so so now if i i come back here and i'm going to delete these and I'll, I'll delete that extra layer that got created okay so now if i select these and ask it to nest. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to define five parts for each of those. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to define a different priority. So I'm going to define priority number five, which is kind of the highest priority for the number one. And then I'm going to, I'm going to notch each of them down by one. Okay, give that with three two, and one. So I'm going to give a lower priority as the numbers get bigger. And and now if I click Apply, you'll see that I, I get quite a different nest. So in this case, the lower numbers tend to nest first, the ones and the twos and the threes. But you also notice that it's that it doesn't strictly apply that. So it, it gives priority to the ones that have a higher priority and then gives a lower priority. So by the time I get to the second sheet, it's all made up of the fours and fives that had the lowest priority. Uh, but it's not a strict ordering. It doesn't do all the ones first and then all the twos. It's still trying to be efficient with the the nesting process. You notice that maybe it's not quite as efficient because I've given it an additional constraint, uh, but it's still trying to be as efficient as possible with the way that it nests and the way that it um, prioritizes how it how it nests. So anyway, what we did is we applied essentially that same concept to the ATP. And so if I go to Setup and Preferences and then go to the ATP, I have added a new nest option uh, parameter. And that parameter has three choices. One is standard. So standard would be the way in route has always been where it didn't have a priority assigned to the, to the parts when they nest. So no priority assigned. This one is telling it to prioritize based on the unit number. And so the unit number of the parts, if we want, say, starting with unit one and, and going up to unit whatever, to have a higher priority to keep the parts together by unit number, then that hopefully will make it more efficient from a manufacturing standpoint because I'll tend to get the parts off of the machine sort of grouped generally together by unit number. Uh, and then I also have an option to divide large job nests. So this is really appropriate if we have, you know, a thousand parts and thousand sending a thousand parts to the nester can can cause problems. So, so this is a, a way to break that up into smaller groupings of parts to be more efficient with the nester. But in this case, I'm going to choose the prioritize by unit number. Then if I get into the ATP and I'm going to load a parts file. And this has 82 parts. And you'll notice that it has different unit numbers. So, this, so there's five or six parts for unit one and then unit two, unit three, all the way up to unit nine. Unit nine has more parts. Uh, so, so that's kind of my prioritization that will take place when the nesting happens. 
Uh, I've got I've got the mapping and everything defined. I'm using the standard nester. Uh, I am going to create output. I'm going to create label output uh, and put them in a subdirectory. So so let's click on process. Okay, so we nested them. Now we're going to produce labels. Okay, now the output has been created. And it looks like we created, I believe, nine sheets. So the easiest way at this point, and you can see I can page through here and see the see the nested sheets. The easiest way for me to sort of tell what unit numbers they're associated with is to look at the folder here and let's let's look at the labels that got created. So I open them up in a little oops, a little photo editing program here. And and so now if I page through the labels, you can see that the first label here the first sheet, uh, it's part of unit one. And so as I, as I page through the, the parts on the sheet, you can see they're not all, they're not all um, the lowest units like this, this previous part here is from unit nine, but that was a small part that, that would actually fit on that sheet. And so the big parts are the ones we're kind of interested in because they're the ones that tend to nest first. And you notice on this first sheet, they're all from unit one. And, and then when I go to the next sheet, the big parts are from unit two. So there's a unit two. The little parts tend to kind of come from wherever. And then, and then now I go to the next sheet, unit three. And, and you see the big parts are, are from unit three. So you see that the nesting was prioritized in the order of the unit number as a way to group the parts together. And, and then as I get through the, the sheets, let's get on to some later sheets. Now you see I'm, I'm up to unit five and unit six generally, unit seven, eight. And then when I get towards the end of the sheets, now I've got unit eight and nine here. And so you see that, that the prioritizing of the, of the output was, was pretty successful in terms of putting unit one in the early sheets, then unit two, then unit three, with some other parts from the other units kind of mixed in as they fit on the sheets to, to try and be as efficient as possible. So, so that's um, a change. In the past, there, the nester wouldn't have paid any attention to the unit number, and, and so uh, it, particularly on a job like this where the parts tend to be generally the same size, it would have it would have mixed them up and not not really paid any attention to to trying to keep the units together uh, with this new option. With this new nest option to prioritize by unit number, now we have another way to sort of control the order of the of the nesting to to hopefully make it better for the user and better better for the manufacturing process to get those those parts out in unit order that can then be assembled more quickly as the cutting is taking place, particularly for larger jobs. So anyway, that's prioritized by unit number and in route 2023.